So if you didn't know, this weekend I was lucky enough to play in the Content Creators Cup. If you want to call it a ball patch reveal, we'll call it that. You'll see what I mean later in the video. On a real though, what a pleasure it was meeting all these people who I've seen on my TikTok for you page, Twitter, Instagram. I've met them all on various platforms. Some of them I've already met in real life, but a lot of these people I'd never met before. And it was unreal to finally see them. Chris MD, Reeve, these are boys who I've watched on YouTube for so many years now, as I said. So what we're going to do in this video, we're going to react to the game. We're going to react to the goals that happened and we're going to react to my performance. Performance. I played from the 25th to about the 62nd minute. So let's get into it. So here's the team YouTube starting 11. As I said, some huge names in there. Reeve, Chris MD, I've spoke to you about those. Danny Owens, absolutely killing it at the moment. All the guys, the list goes on. I have to say, shout out to Aaron Ramsey as well. I used to ball with him back in the day in my early 20s. He was a pacey winger back in the day. And then a couple years later, I see him blowing up on YouTube. And I'm like, fair play. If I know this guy in real life and he's killing it in the FIFA scene, maybe I can have a go. So you can... You could sort of say Aaron inspired me a little bit. Then, of course, we've got It's James, top content creator. Reeve, obviously, absolute unit of a human being. So hard to get past. He's built like a brick. Nervefire does not stop running. Great guy. Proper like Nervefire. Uh, Vizet was a baller as well, by the way. He was decent. I can't lie. Jack54 HD was decent. We've got FG on the bench. Pleasure to finally meet that guy. And, of course, Haber as well. Also, Morgs on the bench. Can't forget him. And then, of course, the GOAT, Chris MD. I've grown up watching this guy. I actually watched him play at the Wembley Cup about five or six years ago. It was a pleasure to share the pitch with him and safe to say he was a bit of a baller as well. He didn't disappoint. Now let's get on to Team TikTok. Of course, I was gutted that I wasn't started. About two days before they told me I'd start a camp and then I think they changed it. Either way, I can't complain, alright? I was just lucky to be in the squad. Angry Ginge, TT Molly, Geordie Coyle, Daz Barla, Luke Bennett, Luke Solf, Tom Pratt, Gold Swain, Bloodinio, Fuck Crunch, Zane, Joe Hall, Clever Dix, Lil Junior and Alex. Some absolute ballers in this team. Bloodinio pulling strings here. Little Croy turn, plays it down the line, Zane's in, you're thinking, surely that's Inside. going in, and it's a fantastic it's gone wide, like I say, Zane is a baller, nine times out of ten, he is finishing that, we did have a couple of early chances, here we go, but here's the other one, alone. Zane, throw and goal, good save, good and then again, we could have got the follow up, but nah, we didn't get that 1-0 lead, anyways, this is the moment we've been waiting for, you can see my bald head over there, on the left wing, I'm saying to Zane, do you want to play up front, do you want to play on the wing? He wanted to play on the wing because he thought he got the better of the right back. We just needed to get the ball to him. So I came on at striker, which isn't my preferred position. I'm naturally a winger. As I've got older in my career, I have I have sort of got better at like holding the ball up, using my arm to hold it up, being more of a target man, using this big head. Is that Haber? I'm telling, I'm telling you, Haber's a player. This guy's decent as well, by the way. That was a lot closer than it looked. That was a decent chance. We're getting bad. And here comes the moment. The first goal. Chris MD pulls the strings. Vizier out of right back and Haber... I can't lie, I was happy for him. I was happy for him. He deserved that goal. Jin stood no chance. Like I said, he needs a defence. He needs a defence or else he's not going to keep a clean sheet. Some VAR on that. Like I say, Mr. Black is so biased on the commentary and he knows it. Joe tries to play it into me. You'll notice the wind here. The wind was mad. It was actually mad. Oh, this is my first decent touch on the ball, right? So I hold it up. You can see here, I've got Reeve behind me. Reeve and Chris MD in particular, I've watched them. I've grown up watching them. And suddenly, I'm holding the ball up, and he's up my arse, like, trying to tackle me. So, obviously, look, I use my arms here to just protect the ball. And then I think, let's just keep it safe here. Let's just play the simple pass. Ease our way into the game, you know? You don't want to start trying all these crazy skills. Just ease our way into the game. Simple little pass. Oh, by the way, everyone who was, like, at the side asking for pictures... And getting me to sign stuff. I even gave someone my sock, mate. It is absolutely mad. The support is unreal. But here we go. Here we go. Right. Bad touch from Kieran. Chris picks it up. We have two defenders here. Daz Barla sideway on. That's how he should be. As I said, Daz was great all game. But the only thing that's ever going to be remembered is this clip right here. He literally turned into Jerome Boateng to the extent that Castro watched this on stream. And he replied to Daz Bala with a picture of Jerome Boateng, man. 3v2 here, and he has to commit to it. And Chris just absolutely sits him down. And then he's not missing. He's not missing. And what a goal, man, honestly. No shame in that, Daz. As we say, if you're going to get mugged off by anyone, 
It's got to be Chris MD, mate. I tried to take it on the half turn, and I forget that I have legs. Luckily, we get away with it, all right? We get away with it. Ginge, he's always looking for me. He knows I'm on the run. I always want the ball off of him. We've got that chemistry, you know? He launches it to me. Huge throw. And nerd fire goes down like a sack of shit. I'm not even on the camera right now. I do a little uh, cut inside, and then I try that pass. Absolutely pathetic. He's not fit to play football. Oh, look at this beautiful man. By the way, lads, the camera does not do my ball pass justice. You wait till you see the second half in particular. I'm on corner duty. I whip it in. Decent corner. Just held it up. I knew we got some big men in there. They win the ball but to no avail. Into my feet. What do I do here? Oh no! I tried to... For some reason, I just thought we need to have a shot. So I thought, you know what? Maybe he's off his line. I'll try a little dink. To be fair... It's a decent effort if he was off his line. If your aunt's had balls, she'd be your uncle. But she doesn't, so she's not. Do you know what I'm, you know what I'm trying to say? Decent corner, I think. I prefer in swingers, in swingers to out swingers, but I was happy with my corner taking. Ginge, big hoof. Am I trying to win the ball? Yep, huge header. This forehead, that's what it's there for, lads. Again, I'm getting on the ball. Oh, suddenly, Chris MD is chasing me down. So I tried to crawl away from it. And he's already there. And he just tackles me straight away. Now, at this point, I'm telling you right now, all I'm thinking is, don't get nutmegs. Don't get nutmegs. Don't get nutmegs. That's all I'm thinking right now. So I just sort of stand off him, praying that he won't steal me. And in the end, Alex comes out to help me and we win the ball back. And then that's it. It's half time. In the first 20 odd minutes, I've barely touched the ball. Do you know what I mean? I've barely touched the ball. I've tried to get us playing. But second half, you'll see what happens. I get moved to left wing and that's when I start to play well, I think. They put me on the left wing, right? I moved from, we plan a 4 2 3 1. I moved from striker onto the left wing. And that is my preferred position. That's where I've played my whole life. And I just needed the boys to feed me. And trust me, they actually fed me. The next 20 minutes, that's when I started to play well, really. We were just coming into the game. Literally, 30 seconds in. Daz knows. Let's get Pluey on the ball. He picks me out. I'm trying to run. Unfortunately, I'm rusty as hell. I tried to go around PZ. Fair play to him. Decently. Oh, no, it wasn't. It was it's James. I tried to go around James. Very decent challenge. This is this moment in my life is where I realise how bald I am. <laughs> Honestly, because the sunlight is going down on my head and the camera's above me, it makes it look so much worse than it is. I promise it's not that bad yet. I'll pick it up here. I'll try to cut inside. And of course, I'm going to try and get a shot off. Terrible shot. But I'm letting the keeper know, right? I'm keen. I'm going to get some shots off, right? I'm saying, go on, give it to my feet, Luke. I win the ball. I play it into Luke's old collectibles. And he get, plays a lovely one too, by the way. Look, plays it straight back to me. And this is where I'm trying to show my pace or my lack of pace. Nice little pull into Zane. If he banged that in, then that would have been some goal. But he just sort of held it up and the attack died off and did well. Look at this first touch, boys. Honestly, I can't lie. The camera doesn't quite catch it. But nice little half turn. Took it down beautifully. And look, he's holding onto my arm. I'm saying, Riff, get off my arm. I get on with PZ really well. We're having a little battle. We're enjoying it. How have I not got an assist here? This is why I say goals and assists in football just don't matter sometimes. You've got to look into chances created. I put this on a plate with the most incredible pass. How is no one getting on the end of that? I just get it in that gap. I get it in behind Aaron. And he just can't get a foul. And neither can the, the addicts at the back post. Here is my highlight of the match. You've probably seen it on TikTok. Jack54 HD is chasing me down. And I just put it through his legs. I'm not going to lie. I pull it through his legs. And then I play a beautiful pass to Zane as well. Imagine if he bagged that. That would have been some assist. Honestly. It's like my favourite skill. And I only try once a game. Usually it doesn't come off. But today, it did. And then that's it. Look. I'm getting benched. 63rd minute, boys. I've got on the ball a lot. I've created a few chances. I'm just getting into the game. I'm saying, give me 10 more minutes. I might get a shot off. No. Good. He takes me off. I can't complain. There was about 18 people in the squad. Hopefully, I've done enough to earn more minutes next time. Ginge came out on pitch. Luke Bennett went in goal. Now, I love Luke. As I said, I want nobody in the world to do better than him. But he's not a goalkeeper, lads. In fact, look at that positioning. I mean, just have the whole goal to shoot at, mate. No problem. Just slots it. Uh, fucking, what's his name? Morgs has a shot. And Bennett, I mean, he's got quavers for hands because that should be saved all day. But for some reason, it goes in. It's 3-0. And then we find out that they got 12 players on the pitch. So the goal actually got disqualified. Yeah, look, here we go. I think this is uh, Jack. Scores a decent little goal here. Luke, to be fair, couldn't do much about that, Luke. And then Haber makes it 4-0 again. 
Luke doesn't stand a chance. I think Ginge might have intimidated him a bit more. I don't know. But 4-0, game over. You've got to say, credit to Team YouTube. They were absolutely class. They were. They really improved from last year. Anyways, that is the end of the video. I appreciate you all chilling with me. Big up the three lads who organised this. Honestly, top, top guys. The event they've created is unbelievable. And it's only going to get bigger and bigger. The main thing is we raise money for charity. Also, big up Statester for sponsoring. If you enjoyed the video, drop a cheeky like and a sub. And I'll see you in the next one.